Hello everyone, I am Asima Biswal. Today I will discuss about balance among different sectors. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel Economic Tech. Balance among different sectors. The principle of balanced growth needs a balance between different sectors of the economy. During the process of the economic growth, it requires proper balance investment in agriculture and industry. Agriculture and industry both are complementary. Therefore, it is imperative that direct investment should be induced in the growing sector, which may provide incentive to other economic activities to bring out ultimate transformation of the economy. Okay, on the supply side, the process of balanced growth stresses the need for different sectors of developing economy instead to avoid supply constraints. Then I will discuss about how the balance among different sectors. First, balance between agriculture and industry. It implies that an increase in industrial production will also require expansion of in agriculture production. These two sectors are not competitive, but they are complementary to each other. The rate of growth of one sector is governed by the other. The growth of one sector creates external economies for other sectors. Okay. Therefore, the development of complementarity promotes the development of underdeveloped countries. For instance, the expansion of the jute industry depends upon the availability of raw jute. And similar is the case of cotton and sugar industries which depend upon the agriculture sector of the supply of raw materials. According to Professor Napsi, disguised unemployment is another important source of labor supply which is very vital for the expansion of manufacturing industries. Most of the people in underdeveloped countries live at the subsistence level they are likely to spend a large part of their income on food. Hence, the expansion of non-agriculture sector will create demand for the output of agriculture sector. Modern agriculture needs input like chemical fertilizers, pesticides, factors, etc., which are provided by manufacturing sectors. These, those agriculture sector and industrial sector both have complementary or reciprocal to each other. Second, balance between investment in human capital and investment in material capital. Okay. In underdeveloped countries, balanced growth is not only required between agriculture and industry, but also a balance between investment in human capital and investment in material capital. Okay. Abundant number of people in these countries are illiterate, ignorant, superstitious. Investment in human capital improves the quality of manpower, national income and real per capita income would rise the purchasing power of the community. Investment in capital goods will raise the capacity to produce, capacity to work, capacity to save and invest and capacity to export. Therefore, investment on material and human capital will help to raise capital formation. Third, balance between domestic and foreign trade. Another important feature of balanced growth is that there must be a balance between domestic trade and foreign trade. The expansion of domestic trade is essential for raising the flow of goods and services in a country. Domestic trade creates marketable surplus that leads to the expansion of foreign trade. Okay. Fourth, balance with within industrial sectors. It implies that some internal consistency should be maintained even in the industrial sector itself. Interdependence of industries is needed for balanced growth. For example, a tree factory can be usefully built only if the raw material is easily available. Similarly, steel units should be should not be operated to full capacity if it lacks demand for its products. In short, there should be a balance between consumer goods industries and capital goods industries. More output of consumer
for goods is needed to improve the standard of living of people and control inflationary tendencies further in an underdeveloped economy both small scale and large scale sector need proper attention five balance between demand and supply of factors another constraint common in balanced growth is factor disproportion of demand and supply of factors in underdeveloped countries it is a fact that in some cases abundant labor is pitched against little capital and less resources are exploited while on the contrary too little of labor is pitched against plenty of resources this type of allocation offsets the entire system which greatly hampers the balanced development hence it requires balance between demand for demand between balance between demand and supply of factors okay thus balanced growth implies that different parts of the economy should grow in a smooth and harmonious manner that no part should far ahead of others or remain too far behind okay this is this is all about the balance among different sectors thanks for watching